today is our very own feast day, or as the fiesta propria de nosotros. The reason I say that is because we're all called to be saints. And we're celebrating today that some of us, in fact, many of us have already made it. As John Moses of the Bondo Y, told us no Jojos, Somos Jumandos, I said Santos. He said the Bondo Y, the Fiesta, he did say that algunos de los de nosotros están allí, ahora. And they are the done Mushos de nosotros. We're celebrating a feast day for saints who are already canonized, but don't have their own, excuse me, don't have their own feast day. They're not famous enough, or maybe they are celebrated in a big way locally, maybe like St. Patrick in Ireland, but not celebrated in the big way in most places. We're also celebrating the feast day of many who are saints, but they're not canonized saints. The people who, St. Paul says, ran the race, finished the race, and merited the crown or as one of the Eucharistic prayers says, people who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. And we're celebrating also many people that maybe aren't considered by other people as saints, but we know them as holy good people, uh, saints maybe in our own family, our own grandparents, perhaps. It's almost so uh, the wonder why no so the main day, dear, especial, Papa Santo, seen su propria fiesta, Papa Tambien Santo, Persona Santas, que uh, uh, vivieron en el pasado. Quizás no en mucho uh, pasado antes de nosotros. Quizás nuestras propias abuelos o nuestras propias abuelas. We're celebrating saints of all kinds. Now, we don't know whether the people are in heaven or not unless the church has officially canonized them. For that reason, I'd like to combine the feast we celebrate today and the one we shall commemorate tomorrow, because we don't know if people are in heaven or on their way to the purgatory. Uh, by the way, I'll speak more about purgatory tomorrow. But we don't know. We don't know how time and eternity interface. We, we try to say something like the church talks about indulgences, but we really don't know for sure. But we do rely on God's mercy. If Jesus has taught us anything, he taught us about God's great love and mercy. So the brain was all the misericordia de Dios. And no sabemos most exactamente si con la persona está ya en el cielo, O quizás en el día en purgatorio, y yo voy a beber más acerca de purgatorio mañana. 
no sabemos perfectamente, pero tenemos confianza en la misericordia de Dios. Porque Jesús habló mucho acerca de Dios, Dios que es tan amoroso, Dios quien está tan misericordioso. We call this mystery the communion of saints. And what we believe in following what St. Paul teaches us about the body of Christ, we're all related to one another. The communion of saints talks about the fact that we are the great community even beyond this life. We are a community with the saints in heaven, with the souls of purgatory, and we help one another. It's like we're all in one big brotherhood, one ex-brotherhood or ex-sisterhood. Oh, we're all members of the Knights of Columbus. We help one another. And the community of saints, we're talking about people helping us with their prayers. The saints intercede for us. We and the saints pray for the souls in purgatory. We help one another. La Comunión de los Santos Habla acerca de nosotros están en la gran comunidad, juntos con los santos en el cielo y las almas en el purgatorio. Y tratamos de ayudar uno al otro. Los santos por su intercesión, nosotros por nuestras oraciones. Oraciones especialmente, no solamente uno para otro, pero también para las almas en purgatorio. That's what we're celebrating today. The fact that we are a great community beyond the bounds of this church, beyond the bounds of this earth. And we, we recognize that we help one another. And the hope is that one day we will be with one another completely in the love of God, the eternal love of God. Nuestra esperanza es que nosotros van a estar unidos juntos uno al otro en el amor, el amor eterno de Dios. We celebrate in this mass the love, the eternal love of God.